Epinephrine has like multifunction. It can increase the heart rate. It will make vasoconstriction to increase the blood pressure. It will make bronchodilation. You can administer the epinephrine by using like the IV intraosseous or bare endotracheal tube. It might be the dose will be like double. Adenosine. If your patient has SVT, usually they will use like vagal maneuver like carotid massage or valsalva maneuver. Now, if this one did not work, they will start to think about adenosine. For the unstable patient with a regular and narrow QRS complex, adenosine may be also considered prior to synchronized cardioversion. When injected into the body, adenosine is rapidly absorbed and metabolized. In light of this, adenosine should be administered very rapid, intravenously. The first dose of adenosine should be 6 mg, administered rapidly, over 1 to 3 seconds, followed by 20 ml of normal saline. The patient rhythm does not convert T within 1 to 2 minutes, then they can go to the 12 mg uh, dose, and it might be given in the similar fashion. As a side effect of the adenosine, patient might feel flushing, chest pain, tightness, briefly asystole or bradycardia. Atropine, your patient has bradycardia. First thing coming to your mind is atropine, amiodarone. Used for treatment of various types of tachyarrhythmias. For cardiac arrest, amiodarone is used after the third shock for ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia that unresponsive to shock. If your patient has VFib, ventricular uh, fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia without pulse during the CBR, the first dose bear, uh, based on the AHA is 300 mg. The second dose will be 150. For other tachyarrhythmias, the dose will be 150 mg and you will give it over 10 minutes. Magnesium sulfate, which is used commonly to treat torsades, D points, ventricular tachycardia. Lidocaine, suitable alternative if amiodarone is ineffective or unavailable in the cardiac arrest from VTAC or VFib. Calcium chloride, Used in the crash cart if the patient has hyperkalemia to protect the heart muscle. It can also use in the hypocalcemia and also can use to the hypermagnesemia. Sodium bicarb giving to the metabolic acidosis patient. Dopamine is to treat the hypotension and for the bradycardia as well. Dextrose 50%. Actually, it's indicated if the patient has hyperkalemia and you need to give uh, insulin, you will give the 10 unit insulin in the 50, mixed in the 50 ml of dextrose 50%, then you will give it to the patient to treat the hyperkalemia and you are not making a patient to become hypoglycemia. Also, you can use it for the hypoglycemic patients.